Hi, in this video, I wanted to cover a couple of quick questions I got from Marco, one of my students in my strategic test taking course available on Udemy. Now, he asked a couple of questions here as far as how he should be studying for a certification exam. And the first question he asked, when I'm studying for a certification exam, do I use a book or a video first? Well, the answer actually, Marco, is neither. The first thing I start with is the certification exam's objectives. So if I'm studying for Security Plus, I'm going to go to CompTIA.org and download those objectives so I can look through them and figure out where I should be focusing my efforts. Then, once I've looked through those and I figured out, okay, I'm strong on Domain 1, but I need help on Domain 2, then I figure out what I want to study from, whether it's a book or a video. And that's really a personal decision because I don't think you need both. If you're a video student, learn by video. If you're a book student, learn by books. Me personally, I tend to be a book student. I can read a lot faster than somebody can teach me on a video, and I can comprehend the information better seeing it in front of me because that's how I'm wired. But a lot of my students, in fact, I'm a video teacher, right? Most of my students are wired for video, and that's how their preferred learning method is. If that's you, just find the best video series you can where they cover all the information. And hopefully, they break that down into small, bite-sized chunks into three to five minute lectures where each component is covering a certain area. So if you've gone through the objectives and you realize, hey, I need to learn about the CIA triad, you can go straight to that one video instead of trying to scrub back and forth through an eight hour long video series, right? And you should be able to pick out that one video and watch it again. So that's how I would start. Start with your objectives, figure out what's important that you need to know that you don't know, and then go watch those particular videos or read those sections in the textbook. Now, if you're in a textbook person like me, what I tend to do is I will grab the textbook and I'll read the chapter summaries. So I'll go right to the back of each chapter and I'll read that summary. Usually they're about a page, page and a half long. And based on that, I'll know if I need to read the rest of the chapter or not. So a great example of this is I just took the CSA Plus exam, the Cybersecurity Analyst exam from CompTIA. The way I studied for it was exactly that. I got the objectives, I looked through them. There's a couple of things that I hadn't played with in a while and I figured I needed to brush up on. So I grabbed a textbook. First thing I did, look at those chapter summaries. Once I read those, I knew there was a couple of things I needed to look at. I went into those chapters and I looked at that information. After I did that, I went and took the practice exams. Based on that, I felt comfortable and the next day I took the exam and I passed it. Now, that's a very abbreviated way of doing it. It only took me about four or five hours, but that's because I was already fairly familiar with that topic. If you're brand new to the field, you may have to read that book cover to cover but I would still start with those chapter summaries because it's going to be a good overview before you dig in. Now, the second question he asked is, do I have any recommendations on picking the right book? Because there are so many books out there. You go to the bookstore and you say, I want to look at Security Plus, for instance, and there's the all-in-one textbook, there's the Cybex textbook, there's the Pearson IT textbook, and then there's some that are from CompTIA or from Get Certified, Get Ahead. There's just so many choices out there, and you can become overwhelmed with choices. Is one better than the other? Well, not really. All the textbooks are going to cover all of the objectives. Now, each author is going to tell you that they have the best, but really the difference isn't the material inside, but the way they organize that information. And the big difference here is what order do they put it in? So, some of them will do it based on domain. And if you look at those objectives, they're broken up into four or five domains, depending on the test. And some of them will break that down and teach from domain one through domain five. Others will teach it by concepts in a more logical flow. And if you're going to read the, the book from front to back, then it really does help to have a logical flow, vice the domains. If you're going to be looking at one and you just want to study certain pieces to match the areas of the gaps in your knowledge, maybe getting one of those books that's based on domain works better. And for me, I actually use both books. So if I'm teaching a classroom and we're going to go from A to Z and cover everything in the class, I'll usually want to use one of the ones like Pearson IT, which does a much better job of putting the information in a logical order to read more like a regular book than a study guide. Now, Cybex, on the other hand, I find that they do a really good job of putting things in domain order. And so, for instance, if you wanted to study just domain one of the CSA+, Plus, it's chapters one and two in that book, right? Where if I look at a different textbook, they didn't do domain one, domain two, domain three, they just mixed it all throughout the five or 600 pages. So that's a big difference there in deciding which one you want. Now, the third and final question he asked me was, what about those certification press books like from Microsoft or Cisco? Do you have to use one of those authorized books that are coming straight from those publishers? Well, what you're probably thinking about here is there are some rumors back in the late 90s, specifically with Microsoft. Back then, it was alleged that Microsoft would hold certain pieces of information back 
from the books. And unless you had gotten a certified press book and took their particular certification prep courses, you wouldn't have enough information to pass the exams. That doesn't hold true anymore. You can get any textbook you want, you can get any video series you want, and you will learn the information you need to pass the exam. It really comes down to a matter of presentation and format. For instance, if you're going to go look for a video course on Udemy on Network Plus, there's 5 or 10 or 15 different authors out there who have courses, including mine. And if you don't like the way that I teach, or I speak too fast, or I have an accent, or any of that kind of stuff, then don't buy mine. Go buy somebody else's. Conversely, Mike Myers has one on there, and he's a much bigger author and much more popular than I am. But some people don't like the way he teaches, and so they buy my course. Some people don't like the way I teach, and they'll buy his course. It really comes down to a personal preference. So if you're picking a video course, watch some preview videos and figure it out. If you're looking at a book, open up the book, see how it feels for you, how they lay things out, and the way the book is designed. One of them is going to speak to you, because you're going to be spending a lot of time in this book as you're studying. So pick the one that you like best. So if you want to learn more test-taking techniques, you want to learn how you can score higher on your IT certification exams and study less and pass more, come check out my test-taking strategies course on Udemy, and I put a link down in the, uh, the notes here on this video. Feel free to click it and come check it out.